What is going on everybody and welcome to a vegan full day of eating as a bodybuilder who is bulking this time sandwich edition which means we're going to be putting some delicious filling in between two delicious pieces of bread. I can hear those carnivores cringing now. Hey Patrick are you angry too? Yeah. What's the matter? I can't see my forehead. Also today I have some really important updates to share with you guys about van life which is coming up super soon. You also might have noticed that behind me looks a little bit different. <laughs> it's because we just got into a new Airbnb. Definitely messy. There's a lot of stuff to put away because we just moved in last night. We'll be here for about a month before we do the final move of moving everything from San Diego to here in Arizona for my parents to live in their new house and then we'll be on the road in early May. So we Without further ado, let's jump into today's full day of eating. Okay, just got here to the gym. Uh, basically, I've had a little bit less time because of all the moving and stuff, so I've been working out five days a week instead of six days a week. So what I've been doing is basically a push-pull legs upper lower and the reason I say basically is because on my push days I'm doing chest and all of shoulders on my pull days I'm doing back biceps and triceps and then legs just normal legs upper everything upper lower lower so I'll film as much as I can uh, I have a big tripod and stuff so I'll try not to get in everyone's way but yeah I've been talking about it a little bit if you guys are having a hard time figuring out what to do with your workouts to make sure that you're getting optimal progress you're basically getting the best results for the amount of time that you're spending in the gym I did just open up my vegan battle plan 2.0 coaching you guys can definitely check that out. Just go on Instagram and DM me coach and we will get talking about whether or not we can work together, baby. Okay, without further ado, gonna get some warm ups in and chest and shoulders, baby. I think a lot of you guys know how it is. You gotta get a couple work sets in first, then you can take the pump cover off. I'm home. I've listened to half of what you sent me. Oh yeah. Is it bad at the end? No, it's good. I just thought you'd be interested in a little crypto video. Well, I'm, I'm watching it, but he's gonna say that crypto's gonna go up. Yeah. I feel like my parents are maybe some of the only people over 60 years old that actually know what Bitcoin is, <laughs> own Bitcoin, and a supportive of Bitcoin. It's ridiculous. So, first sandwich of the day. We are doing a chickpea tuna salad sandwich thing. It's super simple, but it is really tasty and it is ultra. All right, so what we're gonna need is a stock of celery, a stock of carrot, a third of an onion, a small onion. We have a can of chickpeas that we have strained. All right, this is probably the most time consuming part of it. We're just gonna take a fork and crumble every little chickpea. And basically all we're gonna do is just throw in our vegetables into that little mix there. And now really all we need to do is put mayonnaise in. I did just remember, if you want a little bit of a, a kick in there, a little bite, you can throw in a little lemon juice just to give it a little citrus. You don't have to though. Now it's up to you how much mayonnaise you wanna put in. I would say to start with a tablespoon, mix it up, see how you like it, taste it. Uh, and then after that you can add more. As you know, I always try to limit my, my fats to being a reasonable amount here. So let's mix it up. There we have it. Our little uh, chickpea tuna mix is ready to go on some good toast. All right, as per the usual, if you're not new here, I've got 
some vegan milk in here. This time it's actually the not co milk because that stuff is good. Man, it's so sweet. It it's like so good. Cream. Yeah. I'm a big fan now. And so I'm just doing a scoop of the Vivo Life. I'm doing vanilla, some of the ritual protein just to get a big old protein boost after that workout. <laughs> Easy peasy, every day. As always, if you want to get some of my supplement sponsor, you can. You can use my code Brian ten ten percent discount. All right, let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Well, you've already been eating it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. What would I do differently next time? Maybe add a little dill pickle juice in there. Maybe a little more salt. It's very very good. Honestly, I know. Everyone gets annoyed when vegans say this, but it tastes like tuna. It's not tuna, I know that, but it honestly gives off the vibe. Like, I know it's just chickpeas, but it's really good. All right, we have a bunch of stuff to fill you guys in on, but first, eat this. I gotta upload some stuff to my computer, and, and then we'll do the next meal, and we'll update you guys on a couple things with the van life. Okay, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I absolutely love when people go and do tours of Airbnbs. So I wanted to show you like a quick little tour of what we're dealing with here. So here's like the main everything, right? You got your kitchen over there, you got your living room over there, you got your far diamond room table, and then your close dining room table. So everything's kind of just like this open plan, which is pretty sweet. You got the big old island, you got Sammy. She comes with the house, no she doesn't. And then my parents are over here in the kitchen making their dinner, which is a little a little Beyond Burger on a bagel with some uh, Vio Life cheese on the top. Very nice, very nice. Back there is the other bedrooms in the bathroom. But then out here is this cool like little indoor outdoor den area. It's kind of like a little hangout room for like just gaming and stuff. Got all these like big giant Connect Four and giant Jenga, which is a favorite of mine. And then one of the best parts is going outside. So you come out here and then check this out. Plenty of area to hang out, to grill and whatnot. But then this is the best part. They have this, this little fire top, fireplace. You sit here, you kick your feet up, and then you have this absolutely gorgeous view. Look at this. This whole thing is a freaking awesome view. Not bad, so that's what we've been doing every night. Sitting here, watching the sunset with a little fire going. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, let's go. Make sandwich number two. All right, so for this sandwich, this is one of my all time favorites. Me and Sam make this once in a blue moon. Okay, so first off, we got a giant French loaf of bread. This is, I think, my favorite type of bread. And here on the West Coast, at least, in places like Vons and Albertsons and Safeway, they sell this French bread that is vegan, they don't use eggs in it, and it's really good. So we're gonna use big bread, then over here we have some soy curls that have hydrated with some water. So we're just gonna strain those real quick. And we are gonna basically be making buffalo soy curl sandwich. So we're gonna take this strained soy curl stuff, mix it with some sauces. We're gonna be using half of this Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce. You've probably have seen me and Simnet use this. We get this from Costco, it's so good. So half of that, and then half of this Frank's Red Hot. And we're gonna do a little bit of some asparagus on the side, cooked in a little bit of some soy sauce, and probably a little bit of ranch on the plate to dip the, the sandwich. So let's do this. Ranch it up. Oh. <laughs> you trying to sneak in here? Right? Trying to sneak in here? Guys, I don't think I told you yet, but today is Jacoby's birthday. Yeah. So we're being extra nice and giving her maybe like double portions of everything that we feed her while we're cooking. She is 12 years old. She's an old grandma. Mm hmm. Asparagus okay. is good. Excuse me. It is good, right? All right. Taste test. Cheers. Cheers, mate. They're never disappoints. Mm. Buffalo soy curls are the best thing ever. 
Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I don't know if you saw, but I put a little pickles on mine too because buffalo pickles ranch. It's a mash made in heaven. Yep. So I'll probably put like a little dollop here, a little a little well of ranch for me to dip into. You got a little bit of the greens and stuff with the, uh, the asparagus here. But we need to fill you in on what's going on with the van life. We keep talking about it. It is coming closer and closer. So here's the official dates now. The parents are finally closing on an actual house, actually closing. Uh, the house will be ready to be started to be moved into April 5th, 6th, something like that. And so that is really, really important because basically we are going to be moving everything from San Diego over here to Arizona to my parents' new house on the 20th of April. And then it'll take about a week or two to unpack all that stuff. And then in early May, we will be ready to take our van out. Yes. On the road. On the road. For van life. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, we basically have already done the, the front covering. Uh, so like we have curtains that cover uh, the back part of the van from the front driver's seat and passenger seat. That way when we're sleeping, no one can see in. Mm -hmm. um, we're fabricating a back window cover. And then when we go down to San Diego in a week from now, just to visit our friends and stuff, we're gonna go get the side windows completely window uh, limo tinted. tinted. So like 5% tint, so you can't see through. And then that'll be it. The van will be ready. Everything else we have completely prepared. Yep. So yeah, for those of you who are asking when exactly van life is happening, because a lot of people are really pumped. We are also pumped too, and it'll be happening in early May. Gonna eat this and then it'll be nighttime by the time I uh, turn the camera back on. So we have one more meal and I have to show you something really cool a little bit later. So the whole family sits out here basically every single night because the sunset is super nice from this view. Really, really pretty. But we were also just talking about my mom just pointed out on my Instagram story yesterday I posted a baby chipmunk. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. What did we see it? We w walked around this river path and we sat down at these tables and chairs and he just came right up to us. Like literally came up to us. He was right in between my feet. Actually like touched your foot. Yeah, he like, did. Like sniffed you. He was, did. He's like, these guys are vegan. That's why I'm not yeah. scared. It was the cutest. <laughs> thing I've ever seen. So cute. Friggin' cute. It was the size of a mouse. Yeah. He was tiny. He was like was the size tiny. of my hand. Also, I called it a squirrel in my story, and apparently chipmunks and squirrels are two different things. Didn't know that. Chipmunks live not in trees. Squirrels live in trees. Yeah. We you learn something new every day. Yeah. Dinner time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you didn't get all that, what we got going on is a little bit of vegan mac and cheese. Uh, we have been making our own cheesy noodle recipe, which is pretty fire, but this brand is from like Vaughn Safeway Albertsons, the organics, like store, brat, store bought brand, and it's really freaking good. Got a little side of veggies. And then so my ideas with this was basically, this is uh, Bush's vegetarian baked beans, which are also vegan. I was basically just thinking like a sloppy joe, right? Yeah. And the way you could like pump this up if you want to make this even have more protein is you could hydrate some TVP, which is textured vegetable protein. They're just like little, they look like, like ground beef or something like that. Hydrate those, mix those into the beans, and that's just basically pure protein. So you'd be basically bumping this up even higher. But that being said, baked beans, on burger buns is Yum. also pretty big. <laughs> it's like the most basic thing. Like there's all these amazing recipes and I'm just like, yeah, put beans on a, on a burger bun. Thank me later. Beans on toast though is so good. So it like makes sense so that it would be delicious. Basically the same thing. Mmm. 
And these buns are extra good too. Yeah, these are the artisanal ones. Yeah. From Sara Lee that Sammy loves. Yeah, they're so good. Sammy also has like a, a version of this little small one that we're making yeah. over there. This meal is really, really good. Yeah. And it is my last sandwich. But I feel like I got some more snacks in me. <laughs> You've been having a, a rough day, huh? Yeah, I have. The realities of BPD. Yep. Yeah, sometimes Sam is really up, sometimes she's really down. Yeah. And today she's been kind of down. Yep. But this is life with it. Mm -hmm. If you guys are ever interested, Sammy actually talks about all this stuff on her channel. It's all mental health and, you know, that kind of vibe and stuff. So if you want to learn more about it, she's very open yeah. about it, which is pretty cool and brave. A lot of people don't really talk about it. So you can go check out Sammy's channel. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Gonna eat this dinner and then no doubt a couple more snacks before we close Snack. this vlog out. <laughs> I'm still hungry. As you just saw, I snuck out to the kitchen to get me a little bit of some Halo Top. I don't know if you guys ever tried these vegan Halo Tops, but when it comes to desserts, this is like my one and only that I always go to. The cookie dough one or the peanut butter one, amazing, so freaking good. So 360 calories here. It also has a lot of protein in it, which is like pretty good, 10 grams protein. I'm gonna have two bananas with it, and I may or may not sneak back out in a little bit because I do tend to get pretty hungry towards the end of the night uh, and make a little smoothie. Um, so just like a bunch of fruits, some vegan milk, and then another scoop of protein, and then I'll probably eat it. But if it wasn't obvious, I would not probably eat this every single day, right? Like I, I sometimes have a really good time doing full day eatings with a theme. And like I said, today was sandwiches. And I feel like it's a really good way to just show you three different sandwiches because maybe you only give a damn about one of them sandwiches. But on a normal day, I definitely would probably just have one sandwich as, like, as one of the meals. I wouldn't have sandwiches as all. I would probably eat more whole foods and stuff. I'd probably eat a lot more calories in general. But I thought this would be really fun. And I also wanted to bring you guys along today because things are definitely changing. And I wanted to show you the new Airbnb and show you our little adventures that we've been up to and kind of update you on what's about to happen because things are about to get spicy and they're really exciting. There's just a lot of things in the next four weeks that are a little stressful. But we're gonna get right through it, baby. Yeah, last thing I wanna mention is just, as you saw, I am bulking right now, so I'm around 205, 206 pounds. I'm trying to go up and up and up. It will be interesting to see how the bulk goes as we get into van life, because obviously I won't be able to work out as much or eat as much, but I'm still gonna make it happen. So I'm trying to put on as much weight. Before that happens, I'm like a bear getting ready to went for winter, and I just need to put it on all on my body as quickly as possible before we don't have as much access to the the, the dumbbells and the food. Anyways, as always, I freaking love you guys. Thank you for checking out all my videos and always supporting. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. See you guys in the very next video. Peace.